steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars and heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time where he and death meet, bless the next cutter that takes his seat. What's up, brothers? Amen. About time I put my banjo away. Well, let's get back into Hard Space Shipbreaker. That's what you're here for today. And we got some uh, big O giveaways today, too. Finally, got some keys from V Rising. So we'll be dropping one of those in the Discord. Link down below in the description. So make sure you uh, go ahead and jump on the Discord. Link's down there. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Welcome back. Today, ships were going crack. Hard Space Shipbreaker out now on, uh, well, you can get it on Game Pass if you want to. I got mine on Steam a long time ago when it was first in beta or whatever. I guess the earliest version, and I've loved it ever since. And now, as we found out yesterday with the full version, it is even better. It's really, really good. The immersion of the sound design, the ship design being like the ships from Homeworld, the music. Mm. This is a good game. It's hard to make a game where you're not like, um, you don't really, you know, you don't really travel far. You don't really, there's no combat. There's no, there's a lot of things it's not, but what it is, it's really good for what it is. It's hard. It's hard that's hard. This is hard to make a game like this, yet it's damn good. Very good. Well, good again to see you all back on Friday. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend. One's in the chat. <clears throat> you're watching live. One's in the chat. If you're happy, it's Friday. One's in the chat. If you're going to jump on that Discord. One's in the chat. If you have not yet put a one in the chat. One in the chat as well if you're interested in winning a gifted membership too. Don't forget to turn on that, that on to allow so our awesome community can gift you a membership if you haven't gotten one already. Because membership gives you access to things like, for example, our dedicated V Rising server that's on now. For those of you who are members, jump on if you have V Rising. It's a lot of fun. Uh, also, you get tons of cool different emotes that are custom made for pretty much every game. We got everything from space to pirates to miners and farmers and all sorts of different, you know, whatever job games will have you do. We got a lot of those that you can spam, including the coveted Tree Fitty and the Blue One. Oh, yes. Good stuff. One squared. Wow, that's good. Very good. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, did they, like, make an update to the version 1.0? Oh, they, like, made a hot patch or something like that. Cool. All right, well, we're going to continue on with the standard playthrough. And I also noticed there was, um, yeah, you can do open shift, which is basically, uh, or wait, no, there's a, um, I don't know, I saw it, I saw it when I exited the last game. There's a, uh, there is a free play mode, so I think... You can either play ships that you've already unlocked, or maybe any ship, but also a cool way to practice. Anyway, we're level 6 now. Uh, the game was too good. Too good. It did a long time to set up the uh, the story and whatnot. I feel like we were just getting started after yesterday's game. There it is, free play on the left side. There's also a competitive race mode, where you could try to see who could take apart the biggest ship in the shortest amount of time. Speedrun mode, basically. Pretty badass, actually. Very nice. All right, let's go to uh, career mode and see what we can do and continue on with our story. Good stuff. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Good morning to you as well. Happy Friday. Hot Pockets. Uh, Chad's getting started with them Hot Pockets. Oh, is it the bref breakfast kind? The uh, ham and cheese Hot Pocket? That sounds nice. We got some upgrades to buy.
Most power generator systems are found between a ship's interior and exterior hull. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get back to it. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. Stuff that we found is like in the... Look at that. Some of the boxes and stuff that we found are stored up above the kitchen. No way. That's cool. The bunny we found is there. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> We're making coffee. Did we get any new posters? Oh, we can put the bunny up. There we go. Is that orange juice? Maybe you should put that in the fridge. Well, let's check the uh, computer. New message. Contract clauses. Oh, this is the workers trying to create a union. see the hab down there. That's cool. Wait, is there a way? I don't think there's a way to look around. Anyway, we barely have any tokens to spend. But we do have stickers that we can put on everything. I haven't found any that I really like yet. Yeah. Uh, live, love, salvage, yeah. Or li live, laugh, salvage, yeah. Oh, we're uh, continuing on with our mackerel from yesterday. Holy mackerel. All right, let's do it. Are there still Twinkies in space? Oh, yeah. I don't remember what we are doing so well to kind of remember. I think the ship was pressurized. are dangerous though for some reason looks like we're low fuel if there's some on board well there's O2 I guess we'll do a little light work Electrocution still a thing? Yep, explosions, fires, electrocutions, your uh, mask breaking from. I only died because of things bumping into my mask, which seemed to be extra sensitive. It, when I played it last time, they they had made it really okay. extra sensitive. Want to see something special? But I guess that's because Take they put upgrades in. Okay, you want me to take a look at the rail gate? Oh, something's coming through the rail gate. Whew. What a beauty. You know, no matter how many times I see that old rail gate fire, it never ceases to amaze me. Could be you on there one day. Welcome to Venditron 9000. Thank you for your fuel level restored. Oh, they were sending a ship through the uh, rail gate. Ready. What's up, Tad? Good to see you. Yeah, Jake from State Farm. Got to be on standby for that life insurance. We actually have like a life insurance policy that ensures that we technically don't die in this game because we're born again. So I guess we just respawn. <laughs> we we die and then spawn. You're never you're never dead to death. Salvage 
registered. Account credited. Okay, we took out the reactor last time. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Good. Let's take this off. Start cutting. Hey, what's up, Brandt? Welcome aboard. Welcome back, chat. Welcome back. What's our range like now? Not bad. Pretty good range. That'll do. Perfect. Deposit accepted for processing. Take off our communicators. We're cutting good. Amen, brother. Wow. Very profitable day so far. Account credit applied. Oh, a poster. Hey, we might be able to hang that up. That's where we get our posters from. Make sure we grab all these extra kits, maybe. What if we can use from inventory? It seems like we can only buy stuff. Let's take the roof off this place. Now let's push it out a little bit. We use our suit to do that. Pity you can't push the whole ship. Well, there is um, there's kind of like a way to push parts with your your body. Front. Oh, there was a uh, thruster fuel right there. Grab some O2 in a minute. And I don't want to take the front or back off yet, but we'll take some of the pieces. And I gotta say, those. The sparks and such from welding and whatnot, it's just so cool. It really looks good. Just cool. What's up, Fire Chain? Welcome back, dude. Yeah, the game simulates mass really well, too. Yeah, for items and for yourself. Like it feels like it. Oh, we're fine, ma'am. We're fine. Credits deposited. Oxygen levels stabilizing. There we go. Uh, well, the workplace, you know, feels like, you know, corporate. They quote unquote, they care. Oh, I don't, I don't think I'll be fast enough to get that before it goes. Tether supplies are dropping. Oxygen levels stabilizing. 
Object processed. Transferring credits. I won't let me grab the light bulb. Oh well. That's fine. I guess once it pass, passes the little door, it's that's it, brother. That's it. They should add this to Star Citizen. That's what I want, man. I want more industrial jobs. There is refueling in Star Citizen, but I think there should be a lot more things to monitor and... Oh, the fuel. That's fine. Now that it's out the back, we can just easily pull it off. Oh, we're emptying the fuel. Nice. That worked nice. that took everything out. This can all go in the processor. You got five minutes remaining in your shift, Cutter. Five minutes. Hey, Amen, brother. We were out. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Want that thing to stay away from the furnace. Time to work on the exterior. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Ooh, 159 credits from that? Oh, wow. Plus another 5,000 on top of it. Hey, man, brothers, we're making some Salvage money today. He's, uh, that's for nar nanocarbon, okay. We also increased our oxygen capacity yesterday too, so like a lot of the beginning game from yesterday is like going back for oxygen all the time, because you know how it is at the start of a, a game with upgrades and stuff, like you, you barely have any health, you barely have any oxygen, your equipment's slow, everything kind of sucks until you level up. been playing this for a while hope I like it I do it's a fantastic game really it's like one of the one of the like best space job games I've seen I don't think another I could I don't think I can name another game where you're doing jobs in space aside from Star Citizen like No Man's Sky you're exploring and building bases and other games you're like 
collecting bounties and doing military level stuff. You know, that kind of thing. Alright, well, we got about two minutes left. Go back and get O2, I guess. I guess we'll call it a day a little early. Nah, we don't have to. Let's see what we can do in a minute. That's a lot of time. All of that can go into the barge? No, I didn't think so. This is your one minute warning cutter. Bring it home. We'll get some lights out of there. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's like a like a mech game or something. I want to pick up those food packs. That should be a thing. Yeah, the employer immediately credits your account. Yeah, well, you know, it's the future. Money is everything, so money is instantaneous. No more uh, waiting for checks to be mailed or that. Banks are, like, open 25-8. Well, we got the ship almost from level 2 to 3. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, 1.5 million we made. Nice job, brothers. Plus 15 LTs. Nice. Elk upgrade points, basically. They out added an hour and a day in the future? Yeah. Corporations own the future, so. Good morning, ship breaker. This is your daily wake up call. Ooh, a new hab poster. Well. Let's put that over here. Yeah, that looks cool. We're going to be finding more of those. Alright, what can we do for upgrades? Like some things need repair. Oh yeah, so the repair kits that we grabbed do come back to the habitat. I wonder how damaged we can get them until they... I wonder what the peak efficiency is for repairs. Like, since it's a game, it might not be programmed to, you know, reduce productivity or something to like 75% or something. Or maybe it's 88% or 92%. Who knows? Oh, level 8, we get upgraded uh, helmet, which means more oxygen. Damn, I think we should save for that. How much is that going to be? 39 coin? I think oxygen is the thing holding us back the most now. I want to be able to stay in there forever. But we got to get to level... We're going to get to level 8 first. We're at 6. This is a discharge module. That has something to do, with, I think, with resistance to... Um has something to do with resistance to um, electricity, I think. 
Yeah, what's up, low blow? Welcome, good to see you back. Good to see everybody here. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday to you all. The potential, oh, for merch and shirts in this game would be huge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if games started um, saying, hey, we got this little store where you can buy, like, a shirt of an in-game shirt or a poster of an in-game poster, I'd love to buy those. I would definitely hang those up. I think that's so cool. I would even frame them. You know, so long as it... If it wasn't a poster of the game, but a poster in the game, that's something I want. Does anyone know what the game is called? Well, you do, Sean, because you read the description or the uh, title, right, before you commented. Didn't the uh, chat, isn't it for you, the, the guidelines pop up before you jump into the chat and it reminds you of those things? Is that is that still working? Just so everybody like knows where to find stuff? It's more, you know, it's meant to be helpful. I want to be able to be helpful, and that's a good way to do that. Is that a thing, Chad? Does that, does that work? The guidelines? It does? Okay. Alright, I'm just checking. I just want to make sure all the YouTube stuff's working. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. You're out of here. And you too. Amen, brother, yeah. Now, this thing seems to be required for the barge, so I'm not sure how to... Cut that out of there. Oh, there it is, the cut point. Ah, that's what that is. Is it the very end? I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yep, it's always in the... It's either always in the title or, like, in the, um... Usually below a video, YouTube has a little space where it also links the game. Sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes YouTube does it automatically. And YouTube will be like, uh... Hey, the game you're watching... This is... This is City Skylines. And it's like, YouTube does it... <laughs> Anytime YouTube does it automatically, it's bad. All right. We're level three now. Today we're gonna finish this up, I think. Damn, the music in this game is so good. The immersion, the sounds. That's why I had to play it again, because it's just too good. YouTube is broken, I know, I know. So many things are well not not the not the copyright system that that works at 110 percent efficiency and not the uh, ads the ads work at 5,000 percent efficiency but everything else is just like you know they don't they don't know how any anything else works. So they say. Should be able to bump this out of here now. It's not too heavy. There we go. We have thruster on this side too. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh yeah, you betcha. All those things that'll make money, those are always working. Never a day off. They work 25-8. Have you guys heard of YouTube Shorts? Even yesterday, I got an email from my YouTube rep telling me about all these cool new features on YouTube, but then they were still trying to pitch the YouTube Shorts thing. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. And you guys need to take a day off. Bring back dislikes and stop stop the YouTube Shorts thing. No one cares. Salvage 
Salvage deposit registered. YouTube's like, Account yeah, but credited. 70 trillion people watch YouTube shorts. And it's like, dude, if I put a, if I put a stoplight out in front of, if, if I put a stoplight in front of someone's driveway and they're like, I hate it, get the stoplight out of my, get the stoplight out of my driveway. It's like, yeah, but you use the stoplight like three, four times a day. You must love it. Yeah, must be true. All right, there goes that section. Now, we're having a giveaway on the Discord later, just after the stream, too, by the way, folks. So as a reminder, I got I got them keys I was talking about yesterday. So they're coming. Or, well, I shouldn't say they're coming. They're, they're already here. We'll just be doing our giveaway a little bit later. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. That's a good noise. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Object process. Transferring credit. Amen, brother. Yeah. Oh. This should all be furnace right here. Except for those lights. Sometimes I don't even think it's worth our time to like get the lights. Valuable object accepted for process. Like sometimes we could save time and make money that way. Like saying, oh, to make the most money from salvaging a battleship, we got to take out every screw. And it's like, well, it won't be profitable unless you don't. You don't have to get everything. There's only so much you can do. Yeah, the the background music makes Morning. makes this game amazing. Oxygen reserves. All right, let's run back and get some O2. Low blow with the big O gift bomb. Congratulations to you subscribers who just won a gift bomb in the chat. Congrats. Thank you very much, Low Blow. Get those gift bomb emotes in the chat. Don't forget to say thank you. Thank you very much, Low Blow. What a absolute champion. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Oxygen level stabilizing. If you haven't won a gifted membership and you want one, don't forget to turn on allow. I think you also have to be active in the chat and be subbed to any channel that you're watching. So, if you haven't subbed, you can sub for free. If you haven't said hi in the chat, you can say hi for free. What's up, Naval History? Welcome back. I like how there's just random junk floating around in this ship. You know what? There's like lights everywhere. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even bother. It's such a waste of time. We'll take this fuel though. Oh, there was O2 in there? That's right, I'll use that a little bit later if we need it. Alright, level 4. Let's get this window out of here. Glass is super profitable in this game. Oh, there's a little... What? How's that even clinging on? Goodbye. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Push that in there. Music sounds like the Wild West, yeah. 
And there's the great soundtracks like this with the, um, like for example, Euro, uh, I mean, uh, Snow Runner and stuff sounding like this. Thank you, brother. Brother, yeah. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Oh yeah, Firefly for sure, yep. I wonder if, what do you guys think? Do you think Firefly is more of a Western? <laughs> you think that's like a Western show and movie? Or you think uh, you think it's an actual space? I don't know, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, that's funny that that Western went to space. Damn, I can't believe. How quickly you can take apart a ship. It feels like you'll never get it done, and then suddenly it's, it's gone. You think it's a space western, both? I think it's a west. I think it's a western that happens to go to space. I think. I don't know. But we need more things like that. But that that's definitely where like StarCraft went with the whole uh, like the Terran. Faction being like that, you know. I probably didn't have to cut that, but that's okay. Because this part's not too big. Alright, so this is furnace. Is this all furnace? Oh, barge. Oh, lights, probably. Let's grab a little oxygen tank. Good show, good movie. Deposit secured. Credits awarded. I remember when friends introduced me to that, I'm like, wow, I can't believe I've never seen that before. Oh, that's right, this ship was the pressurized ship. Deposit registered. Now we gotta deal Accounts with... Credited. I can't believe they bring these here to salvage with, like, being pressurized. That just seems, like, dangerous. And profitable. Tether supplies are low. We're fine, ma'am. There it goes, brothers. Job well done. A couple pieces here and there, but not much left of this ship, Cutter. About one minute remaining. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Oh, a little door. I'm, I'm not even going to bother with that. Get in there, brother.
Amen. Into the furnace. Have me a beer. Deposit accepted. All done? Well, pretty much. That's about as good as it gets. 92%, that's fine. Everything else floating around, it's literally just bottles. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. A kilogram of glass? Not even going to worry about that. A door, maybe. That's about the biggest loss. Hey, if we come in 3.5 million, that's a damn good shift. New certification level achieved. Yeah! License upgraded. The universe is the last frontier? Oh, yeah. I love Star Wars. I'll never forget you, Battlestar Galactica. Now, oh, this game's great. If you like uh, space games, this is, like, super immersive. Feels good, man. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Okay. All right, folks. Got a priority message coming in from corporate. Uh oh. Everyone, put down what you're doing and have a listen. Hmm. Maybe they're gonna give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Hmm. That would be a first. Probably just another Pulsing kid getting a cushy exec job. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message to all Link Salvage Division employees. It's come to our attention thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a shipbreaker's union. <gasps> a union is a dangerous thing. Oh, yeah. Where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. This is why union activity is strictly prohibited by your contract, for your own protection. To safeguard you and your work, we are immediately dispatching an administrator to every salvage sector. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means, and they'll remain in place until we can guarantee company-wide integrity until then remember the company is your family the union is your enemy thank you <laughs> no holiday told ya a union i haven't heard anything about that have you of course not probably happening around the martian districts they always been quarrels you heard anything like that, Lou? Uh, no. Hey, Weaver, do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week, maybe. Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Jupiter? Oh, great. The HQ's in Jupiter? Ah, nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. Salvage logs, transmission records, operational efficiency... Oh, great. You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. See y'all in the yard. We were out. Hey! Uh, don't worry. This is a closed channel. There won't be a log. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. They're gonna try to make our lives hell. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Besides, no one from corporate has access. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Okay. Blue out.
The Javelin Tanker. Ooh, now we get to work on a... Uh... Oh, that has some big O exterior fuel tanks on it. That's going to be interesting. From Helix Heavy Industries. That's interesting. 3.5 million. How many tokens did we get? 84. Mom and Pop to Megacorp. This is from corporate. I'm not even going to read that. Screw that. Mama pop my ass. $13 trillion a day in profit. Yeah. I like the food group thing. Although I can't really take a close look at it. All right, let's take a look at the upgrades. The Robotany Corporation. What's up, Evan? Good to see you, dude, in the chat. You guys are just tuning in. Don't be afraid to say hi. If I miss you, chat will always welcome you. We got we got a good bunch here. Isn't that right, chat? O2 rechargeable module. Install an atmosphere pump air system. This allows for the gradual replenishment of breathable air or oh, oxygen tanks while in a pressurized environment. Oh. So we can go to pressurized parts of the ship and actually siphon off that oxygen. That's cool. Didn't even think about that. I'll take that. I like that upgrade. That's cool. Heat resistance, electrical resistance. Demo charges, cross spectrum scanner. Uh, let's see. Break one. I think we got that. Oh, no, we don't. No, we do. Fuel capacity. I think I want to save most stuff for the oxygen, honestly, at this point. And we're going to be level 8 soon, and that gives us... Oh, we only need 39 for that. I'll save it. What's up, Matthew? Good to see you. Hello, Nate. Good to see you as well. Are we winning? I think so. I feel like it. All right, we're all done with that ship, pretty much. There's really nothing left of it anymore. Uh, let's see. Are there any of those new fuel ships they showed off? Not really. Uh, let's see. Ooh, 14 million on that one. Ooh. That's profitable. Let's do that one. Nomad cargo hauler. Hazard level 5. Last one reactor power cells and quasar thrusters will go to the barge. Oh, each time we hit one of the levels, we get 37 MP and. Uh, 15, oh, 19, 23, we get more coins that way, nice. What's up, Colin? Welcome aboard, dude. Let's go. I like the noise it makes. It sounds like it's prints it off and then, like, puts it into the pneumatic tube. Chat, do, do banks still use those pneumatic tubes? They must, right? Like, if you ever need to take out physical cash... I think the only time I could ever imagine anybody going to the bank drive through would be like, you'd go there to like maybe withdraw like 50 bucks or something for like a kid's birthday and you just give them cash, you know? Oh, hospitals? Oh, yeah, for the uh, for prescriptions and stuff. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how else they would use those. Dude, imagine working in the pneumatic tube business. There's got to be like one business per state in the United States that does pneumatic tubes. Because it's like, it's certainly an important industry, but I could only imagine a few places doing it. Like, yeah, okay. Prescriptions and banks. Those are the only two places where I think you could get something small enough inside the uh, the tube. All right, Cutter. Thrusters on these Atlas ships are worth a mint. 
but can be a touch. I can't have a There's only one way to salvage the thruster engine. The fuel intact. You gotta pop off the thruster nozzle and work your way inside from there. The Kai, trick of it is, try switching to another thruster, please, to and then back fuel. again. Once you start working on them, fire starts spreading. Can you hear me now? When it reaches the fuel tank, it's gonna blow. Hey. Okay, how to get in quick. I have a question. And switch Which off the fuel the supply. Administrator. There's a shut-off switch at the very end. Waste our time with productivity reporting. Oh. I think that's a glitch. I don't know. Well, sure. Need for a Loads big old time. mess. Profits drop, okay. they send someone. Let's get that nozzle Accidents removed. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. They ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sleeping around for union stuff. Right? Yeah. Gotta be here a week. Top. These types have the attention span of a gopher. They'll move on pretty quick. What's a gopher? <laughs> Quiet. Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind and don't fret nothing. Carry on now. We were out. What was the glitch? Was two conversations over the top of each other. Like, they were supposed to have that conversation about the gopher, but also the uh, weaver was also trying to tell us how to get into the... how to take these uh, engines off, but I didn't hear that part because they were having like two pre-programmed conversations over the top of each other. That's going to have to be patched out. You had the same thing happen to you? Yeah. I think they were having two separate conversations at once. Not a glitch? I'm... Well, sucks that we had a important instructions kind of like... Salvage secured. I heard something about popping off a fuel can and then, or nozzle or something and then... I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're going to do barge stuff though. It's usually best to go through a ship and just clean out all the junk first. Why is there ominous music playing? Actually, let's get the floor out of here. There's a panel on each side of the thruster. Pull them off and you can melt the yellow contact. All right, thank you. Thank you, chat. This is a little too heavy. Let's push it. Just a little push. Or a big push. I need to cut this. still power in the ship. Oh. Too heavy to cut. Well, then we'll just pull it uh, below. Wait. Is that cargo? Oh. That's going to be interesting. So it pulls cargo behind it, too. Interesting. All right. Oh, it's still connected there. No, that's, that's not part of that. All right, here we go. more below us. Great. Much. Oh, this is a way bigger. Whoa. Okay, this is the biggest ship we've ever been on. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. We've never been on a ship this big. Yep, nope. This is, uh... This is big-o. That's awesome. Yep, this is the biggest ship we've been on. Okay, I didn't I didn't realize that. That's awesome. Right, that leads to the back end. Oh right, well let's take those big ass engines off so we can look at the size of the ship. There's a little maintenance panel on the sides. This thing maybe? You think the previous owner would t uh, take anything valuable? That's true. But maybe it's more valuable just to drop off the whole ship than to have their own salvaging division. Who knows? Or there's some corporate contract where they're already in cahoots to uh, do the job for them. Oxygen reserves low. Lynx recommends regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. Watching me play this makes you want to play Elite Dangerous again, for sure. Welcome to Vendidron 9000. Have a nice Oxygen level stabilizing. <sighs> uh, Dino Dollar stuff is in in the description. YouTuber, when is the Fortnite stream? All right, that's going. That's it. What's up, Fang? Good to see you. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. So we're gonna take off all these external hatches. God, mom made pizza rolls. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Got to be more on this one. Looks like just two. Oh, I see. Well, that'll take off the back end of the engine. Pull that off, that seems dangerous. Maybe a fuel tank, it looks like a fuel storage tank in the front. Salvage registered, transferring credit. Well, that's marked for cutting, so let's give it a try. Clock's ticking now, Cutter. Get in there and hit that shutoff switch. All right. You got five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. 
before they turn the lights out on you. We were out. What? That's it, Kurt. What? Real satisfying when it comes apart like that. That's dangerous think? as hell. I'll leave you to it from here. How We're is that out. even legal? Oh, corporate says it's okay? Oh, okay, we're good then. That's dangerous as hell. How is that even legal? Wow. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Wow. Well, not bad for not knowing what the hell we were doing. And now we know. Deposit accepted for processing. Do I plan on playing the sniper game again? Whatever I plan on playing should be scheduled on the channel and or in the description down below with the... Um, there's like a... Not only do I do the schedule on the channel, but also there's like a, a document you can look at, so... Whatever we plan on doing next is listed there. Things are always changing. Cutter, looks like you used your last tether. Head on over to the kiosk to pick up some more. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, hell no. Elder Scroll 6? Maybe one day. You think it'll be 2057? Fuel levels are low. All right, let's see what we got on the ship for free stuff. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. If we like a game enough, though, and there's enough time, we'll come back for it. That's why we're back for more Shipbreaker, because it's a damn good game. The games I'm interested in get one, but if they're really good, they get, you know, we gotta come on back for more. I guess we could shut this door and replenish our oxygen this way. Now that we got this fancy new system. Air pressure levels increasing. Okay. So, let's get all this stuff by the door, ready to go. Oh, the sounds change now, because there's oxygen. Everything's louder. One minute left to get in line, sir. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, is the Fallout London a real thing? Did anyone see this? Yeah, but I thought it was a mod. I don't know if it's going to be a real thing or, like, if it's official or what. Faith, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for your support. I'm just going to trash this place. It's going to look like a damn brat party. Oh, it's just a mod? Okay. 
All right, not bad for not knowing what the hell we were doing with that engine. Whoa! We earned one billion four five hundred million. Damn, that was a profitable day. Whew. Oh, the quasar thrusters. Yeah, each worth uh, six hundred and fifty million dollars, thousand dollars. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Wow, these are expensive as hell. Damn, now we're making some money, boys. That's crazy. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. Unfortunately, no, uh, no upgrades, but oh well. Is that the union rates? Well, we're not in the union yet. Corporate's kind of pissed off that. Good morning, Cutter Nine. How dare the employees try to make more money? All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Only the corporations can get money. The individual? How dare they? They should feel shame. Hey there, shame. Rook. Saw that you found an old data drive while you were salvaging. I did. Now, I'm a bit of a tech head and a history nerd, so I love these things. They're uncensored info. Eh, sometimes it's junk, but sometimes, sometimes it's gold. Either way, it's a more genuine view of the colonies than what you see on the garbage news network. I'm sending you a data recovery program. You'll see it on your HAB terminal. Ooh. Soaking in solar radiation mangles up the data pretty bad, but you can usually pull one or two intact files. Hopefully it'll give you a better sense of the wider world. Warts and all. Have fun. Later, Rook. So we can actually now start finding out what's going on in the story and lore by finding data drives. And figuring out what's going on around us. Wow. Oh wait, I read that wrong. I read it as a derp as a billion dollars. I thought those engines were worth way more. <laughs> I was thinking about our debt, I guess. Oops. Well, anyway, I feel like a, a billion bucks. So that's good. What was that? Oh, posters. Data recovery. Unverified application. Okay. One file. Device name Nomad, one of three, life of the rails. Uh, Carlo Wetbrook, who is a pilot, first found on the Swift Pandora 5. Oh, give me an audio log to listen to as I work. Now we can read it at any time. Looks like there's 14 lore to get. Okay. Maybe. Alright, we didn't level up because we didn't get to level 1 yet on that ship. We're just getting started. Kind of how it works in this game. Like, the, f the first couple of days you're working on a ship, you don't really get much done. You're just like popping the doors and moving some junk out, and then eventually it's it's gone. Do you get the money, or is it the company? Well, we're paying off a debt, so it's um, it's company store level stuff. If we if we use anything, uh, we have to pay for it, and that just goes into our debt. So the way this corporation seems to make money is if you want to work for the company you get hired and then you owe a ton of money to the company and then you have to work for them forever to pay back that debt it's just good business oh I forgot to get tethers damn oh well Maybe we'll find some. Well, it looks like we can make this airlock too. Well, anyway. Let's check the fuel system. I 
How do we cut this in half? Oh, I see. Ooh, that's gonna be expensive as hell. Oh, wow, there's fuel in here too? Forgot about the fuel tanks. Yeah, that's right. Stuff that they're going to try to reuse uh, goes into the green barge below us. And then everything else is either smelted down or recycled. So the furnace smelts it, which I guess is kind of recycling. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Damn, I don't even know how we're going to start on this. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Oh. Helmet damage detected. Play this music. We also have to use that when we go back home. Or oh, we have the option. Okay, we got tethers again. 20, nice. Well, I don't want to take off the front of the ship yet. I don't know where to start, really. Well, there's another engine down here, actually, isn't there? All right, let's do another engine. Yeah, we'll do another engine. That'll be good. Sounds like a good plan to me. Spaceship repo? Yeah, kinda. Repurposing, I suppose. Good point. You love this game, your only problem is at least before the main release of the story writing was not so good. Well, yeah, they didn't complete it. I think they were focused more on the uh, gameplay first to make sure that worked. Gameplay is a lot harder, I think, than a story. Well, I mean, it certainly takes a lot more time. Writing is important, but to make the game smooth and all, it's really nice. Glad they did it. All right, one's in the chat again. As a reminder, folks, if you have your uh, membership gifting turned to allow or accept or whatnot, somebody drops a big old member bomb in the chat, you have the chance to possibly, maybe, perhaps... Get one of those memberships, so don't forget. We got a very nice uh, group of members. Oh, also, they updated that now. You don't have to be a member to gift memberships, which is like, okay then. So if you'd like to gift a membership, you don't have to be a member to be nice. Just drop a bomb. Which is cool, I guess. Spicy. That's spicy. Ooh. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. <sighs> oh, that's scary every time, dude. Scary every time, that one. Uh, where's the allow button? Uh, anytime somebody drops a bomb, you'll see a, a thing that says allow or accept or... I forget exactly what the wording is, but... Alright, so can the, all this be just brought to the processor? Let's see. Oh, right, there's the welding thing in the front. I gotta decouple that there. Hmm. 
I think the fuel's on its own separate section. God, this is a pain in the ass. This section's nice. We'll get some O2. Hopefully that makes us a bunch of money. Yeah, it's over there. It's fine. That does it for the fuel tanks. This is a fuel injector, okay. The tanks push it to the injector, which pushes it through the fuel line. Whoa, whoa, not you. Hey. No, no, I need you, money. Gunner, your equipment durability is dropping. Keep an eye on it. Where'd that thing you go? You don't want to be dangling in the wind with busted tools. When you see it happening, head on back to the hab, use a repair kit to fix them up. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Hey, you're supposed to go in the processor, buddy. The furnace is like trying to pull it in. Ridiculous. Well, if I cut it in half, QJ, where's where's the other half gonna go? Caution! Out of tethers. 
Ah, there's a stun lock. Let's see if I can push it. Seems like it's just perfectly stuck. Wait, wait, that's a waste of time for now. Let's get some other stuff done. Dark songs, I love your videos. You should receive more support. Well, smack like. If you're watching live right now, smash the like button so more people find the channel. Somebody else isn't going to do it for you. So you can always leave a like to let me know what you think and that you want to see more. I'd appreciate that. You can always say hi in the chat. Or jump on our Discord to win games for free if, if you like free stuff. Space Cowboy vibe. Yeah, that's true. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. True. Big true. Big true. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh, there that thing go. Oh, that went far away. That'll bring us up another level. Let's secured. grab that other one. Account credit applied. Cutter, got about one minute to make your mark on this shift. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Thank you for your... Heather's restored. Hey, buddy. level one? Oh, we're like point <laughs> we're like point zero one percent off or point one percent off. <laughs> Alright, we'll level up next time. Hey, what's up bearded burns? How you doing? Welcome aboard. Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If right. you love what you do, you will be successful. Not a bad first day there. Alright, let's continue on. Good. Lots to do. Oh, 
Well, now that the engines are off, we could try to uh, take these out of here and put them on the barge. What's up with the uh, uptick of uh, load screen tips? still attached to the ship there. Three points. There you go. Yeah, chat, we need some more, uh, we need some more tips for that, too. So what, so what happens when you run out of oxygen? And how do we get more oxygen in this game? oxygen by buying it at the terminal oh okay now wait how do i how do i buy things though transferring credit where's the terminal place you buy tether from what are tethers Yeah, that's true. As we're as we're breathing oxygen, we're actually using it. So if we don't if we don't breathe, we won't use the oxygen. Good point. Now it finally goes in there. Yay! It'll work the first first time with fourteen tethers attached Processing to it. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. <sighs> Calm down, Steve. Relax. It's called sarcasm. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Okay, let's see. Oh, to use tethers, you just gotta use them? Okay. Gotcha. Dennis, shouldn't he be here? He's late for his shift at the at the back seat.
I remember playing this game on a controller a bit. And I like the... I like the control... Like, certain controls on the control, but it's like... This is the only game I can remember where it's like half and half. Like, on keyboard, I wish I had some of the controller controls, but on... On a controller, I wish I had some keyboard buttons. Oh, there we go. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Well, we can pull that one off and come in from the bottom. Raptor, how did you know my name? I know everything. Welcome to Vintage Road Oxygen levels stabilizing. Processor. Uh... Alright, that's it. You're out of here, pal. Get out of here, processor. Item scrap thingy. Expedient Express. Oh, I didn't realize the lights could change different colors. Cool. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. Damn, what a genius game with the whole tether system. It's really cool to use that. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Tether supplies running low. Yes, they are, ma'am. Make sure that avoids the uh, furnace at all costs. Oh, boy. Three there, none there, one pulling it back, and still the furnace gets more pull. Caution, no tethers remaining. Five minutes left, Cutter. Yep. How you use them is entirely up to you. We're out. Yeah, the furnace needs to calm down. Are there nuclear reactors? I mean... Oh, in this game? I mean, maybe. Maybe everybody's house runs on a nuclear reactor in the future, who knows? this game needs in the hab is like a little mini game. There should be like a little uh, arcade machine or something that you can buy. Or maybe like on the computer you can just play like a little funny 8-bit uh, mini game. Oh damn it, I forgot the tethers. My bad. Yeah, fruit slots, yeah. Yeah.
Okay. Seems better if we just put it right to the processor. Oh, yeah. Then it just pulls it straight back rather than across. So it can't really pull it across, but it can pull it, like, down into the processor. Put one more on there. And we'll give it a push. Even with max strength tethers, you struggle with the furnace trying to pull those in? Okay. It's like 98.9% .9 of the, uh, of that panel is in the processor, but it's like, oh no, dude. 2% of it is over the furnace? Furnace infinity power. Let's have another panel. I'm just going to move them, like, way up front. Like, I'm going to have it just completely avoid the furnace for that one. And yet, the furnace will probably try to take it. Chuck something heavy at it? I wish. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Cutter, you got one minute left. Time to shift your biscuits. I know there's another thing we gotta cut here, so let's pull this out. use the cutter to cut it in half? You can, but it's above the uh, cut value. It's a little too... Uh, a little too strong. Oh, we could just bring this whole thing down there. Goodbye. All right, things will be in the right. They'll be in the right places. Hey, we get an upgrade now. All right, so long as we're making 1.5 million each day, I'm I'm cool with that. Cause some things are just they take a lot of extra time to do, but we get extra money for doing them. So so long as we maintain minimal profit margins, we'll be all right. Oh, spaceman's in the chat. Spaceman emote, yeah. Cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Thank you, robot lady. You already read that one. Wait, are we level eight yet? Seven. Oh, we got a ways to go. Uh, let's see. Let's get some repairs done. I'll repair if it's under 80. Heather amount up to 30. I'm going to take that. Heather lifetime. Mm, that's okay. 
Durability drain increase. I want to save some of the points. Well, well, we'll actually get a lot more, so. Heat capacity, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, your debt's below a billion? Congratulations. Only 999 million to go. The tether lasted overnight. Oh, things you did the night before can kind of continue on. Let's see if I if I put this one here. It seems like the, the processor has like a really good pull to it. So maybe if I put these two together, it'll actually be able to pull it in. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, then it disappears, but yeah. The furnace is like, oh, what? Did you add 14 tethers to that thing? Oh, dude. I'm just 0.1% more powerful, dude. Did we get all the panels done? Oh, there's one there. Let's do that one. Alright, we'll get that one thrown in there. Alright, hopefully they add a little patch to uh, make that calm down a little bit for that. Uh, that furnace is just a little too much. Object processed. Transferring credits. The forces should be going right and forward this way. And indeed it is. There we go. Alright, where does this go? Processor? Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. We gotta like go way away from the furnace. The furnace is like super aggressive. Oh, now we've turned the ship sideways. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh, actually it worked out. Now we can get all this cargo out of here. It worked out. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Today we'll be emptying the cargo hold then. Salvage accepted. You know what this game is like? You guys ever see that game before called uh, Unpacking, where you like move into different houses and like have to unpack your stuff? It's like the opposite of that. 
Well, kind of. Salvage secured. Applying credit. What was my first death? Uh, since I played this before a few times, <coughs> I was kind of used to how the... In the earlier versions of the game, they had a lot less upgrades because they hadn't, like, finished the game. And, uh... And I don't think it's finished now, even if it's in, like, the 1.0 release version. Like, I, I think there'll be a lot more stuff, but... The suit and a few more things used to be a little bit more durable, so I, like, I smashed my helmet a few times with the... With, like, how the game used to be. Like, remembering how it used to feel. But now we should be good. I think it's a lot easier to die at the beginning, because you don't have all those upgrades, but... As complexity goes up, I'm sure there'll be... One or two other deaths, but... For now, it's good. Uh, yeah, gifted memberships you can get if you have it set to allow. So make sure if you uh, haven't already, make sure you click the allow button. If somebody drops a big old member bomb in the chat, you'll be able to claim one. And we have a dedicated server for V Rising. So if you're a member, we got that. We got emotes. Name highlighted in green, badge next to your name. Tons of great emotes, too. What's up, Jackson? Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Well, this actually worked out. Tilting the ship this way was a genius move. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Yo, Dan, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome aboard. Green eyes in the chat for our new member. Space Raptor? Yeah, I'm a uh, Scraptor now. I'm, I'm taking apart all this, uh, all this ship. It's pretty cool. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Get the lights out of here. Oh, I'll take the other cargo. Thingies. New member, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Warning. Oxygen low. Note that oxygen costs can be reduced through good breathing practices. Thanks for the backseat, ma'am. most complicated part was those engines, man. All done now. Salvage deposited. Ooh. Applying credit to account. Last one reactor. Okay, now we can see where all the oxygen is. panels.
Music is just great. What a fun game, man. Cutter, shift's got about five minutes left in her. Let's make him count. Hey, Brown. man, brother. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. The structural frame can be moved in two parts. This kind of music never gets old. Well, it can't age, it's music. It can't drive. What was the thing that broke your helmet yesterday? Oh, um... I was holding like a, a metal beam that was like a like a roll cage kind of looking thing for a cockpit. And uh, I threw it. And it must have bounced off something and hit the helmet. So it like cracked the helmet. Pretty cool. Kind of annoying because you're like, ah. But then on the other hand, it's like, wow. Kind of cool that they actually put that in the game. Uh oh. I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, the sound design in this game is just phenomenal. Like, it really... I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of little things about this game that makes it great. It's like that game Darkwood with the uh, sound design and the... Some games just... I don't know. They make you look at things in a certain way that just... I don't know. Object process. Credits deposited. Your oxygen reserves are low. Oh, Note man. that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Well, let's get a fill up for next time. And let's get this out of here. That'll be the last thing we can get out of here for now. I'll save that for later. Is this detached? Oh, that can go. And this can go. Up. Don't need the O2 for now. Bye.
That should be all we can do for now. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Boy, good luck on that one. Make sure it stays away from the furnace. What's up, Peter Day? How you doing? You know, you'd think if our suit could take advantage of oxygen Tether levels are low. from the hab. I hope we can start with full oxygen each time. Oof, we'll see if that's going to be right on the edge or not. Hey, level two. 22 tokens plus 19 LT. Now, does that calculate ahead of time or not? Yay! What's up, Alexei? Good to see you. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Initiate day of work. Oh, we made three million that day? Damn. What made us the most money? good yeah the yeah the the bouncing pause the DVD logo yeah basically all right let's repair our cutter uh, we're rank almost seven and a half now Oh, when you look at the ship, is there a way to tell how much money each part is worth? There, there might be a way to see that before you cut it, yeah. I mean, you gotta cut everything, or you, at least you want to. I mean, as they say, uh, using the whole buffalo, which is a good idea. You try to use as much as you can. But also, time is a factor, so sometimes you might <clears throat> be almost done with the ship and just, like, not cut some... Like, sometimes the windshields might not be worth your time. Is there a repair all button? Uh, no, because each individual thing needs a repair. But I guess, yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, let's continue. Almost done here. Honestly, originally I was not happy with the whole shift thing. Like, I wanted it to leave me alone, but it's kind of nice because it forces you to go back home to, like, get your upgrades and stuff. Baby, go in that processor, go in the processor, go in the processor. Yeah, brother, yeah. First try. No, we're making money. We haven't even Valuable made a move yet. Accepted for processing. Feels good, man. Poglad. Poglad emote. Okay, what goes in the porch? Oh, this thing. Well, I'm kind of glad we turned the ship this way. Makes it way easier to get these things where they gotta go. Was this frame detached? No. That's all part of the middle section. Wait, this is detached though. Get out of here, pal. Deposit accepted for processing. Anybody figure out how to cut glass out of the cockpit without destroying it? Yeah, you gotta be kind of careful and cut around the edges of the metal uh, trimming. But it is it is kind of tricky. You won't get all of it. I don't think that piece is disconnected. Yeah, it is. We gotta take out a reactor. Oh boy. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. 
Good job done. Can I get like a sampler pack? Send me five free. Damn, we're already up to level three, almost three and a half right now. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I would assume it's probably the reactor. Yeah, that reactor was big money. Unfortunately, I only see one now. This should be separate. Yep, okay. It's good. Processing object. Applying credits to account. What an impressive game, man. Somehow it just works. I don't know. Good game is good. Let's see, where are we going? Uh, this way. You're out of here, pal. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Oh, the ladder was worth something? Oh, well. 102 credits, not worth my time. Reverse Gundam build. Well, this game is actually uh, kind of has a lot to do with the people who made uh, Homeworld, so a lot of the ship design and such is influenced by that. It also kind of feels like uh, Space Engineers, too, like Reverse Space Engineers. But I would love more games to allow you to uh, do that kind of stuff where you can salvage and take things apart. The other great thing about this game is they make it really clear as to what part is, like, attached to what. Yeah, that's going to be worth a lot of money. Hopefully that's all for the processor. Welcome to Vintage Rock 
Oxygen level stabilizing. Object processed. Transferring credits. All right, how much of this ship is left? Okay, so we got the bottom. Oh, this thing. That's the best part of the game right there is when you see a massive piece getting just peeled right off like that. It's like it's like when you peel an orange. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. Looks like there's a few more pieces inside. Coffee maker? Salvage Food dispenser. We're looking at five minutes left in your shift cutter. Do what you do. Weaver out. Amen, Weaver. Tucker hats on the Salvage job, brother. The mechanics of the game. Yeah, it's great. Like, you got an upgrade system, the, the physics and the things really feel good with the mass. Like, some things are a little, you know. I, I think when this is out for the next month, people will say, hey, change this, hey, change that. And they'll make some tweaks and improvements and some other things based on feedback, and it'll make the game even better. The consensus of everybody who plays will say, hey, this is great, but this could change, and if it did, it would be awesome. And then they'll make the change, and then people will be like, wow, thank you for doing that. Cool. throw that in the furnace yeah <laughs> damn right burn burn the hell out of that mattress could have space lice burn it wait a minute chat let's do some math here so in the game our debt is like what a billion dollars i forget what year it is in game like what is it 27 something or other how much would a wendy's burger salvage secured account credit applied how much would a wendy's burger cost in this timeline and it'll probably be a synth burger made out of synthesized wheat Synthesized cheese. Credited. About tree fitting. Hundred dollars? That cheap? No, you idiot. Oh, my bad.
Wrong tool. I would stick a money out of it thrown in this furnace. One billion dollars? Wow. Is there co-op? Uh, not currently. Wow, the furnace has no pole on that thing? Okay. A Wendy's burger in the year 2700 would cost $3,779. Wow. Oh, we reached level four. That was worth it. Yeah, inside valuable comp uh, components are very, very valuable. Wendy's would be a pill. Yeah, you just add water and a full burger, like gross. Maybe we'll have burger trees. Warning. Oxygen reserves low. Lynx recommends regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. Material accepted. Oh, that wasn't worth a lot. We'll finish up the rest tomorrow, which will basically have us do uh, well, only 0.5% of the, the, not even 1% was lost. Awesome. $4.5 million. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. You've been missing the stream all week? Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Hello. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Okay. Oh, let's see. No, I didn't mean to do that. Workstation. All right, rank seven with 72, uh, 72 points to spend. I guess we'll increase range of the cutter. We have 54 remaining. That'll be 39, and we're almost to 8, and I want the oxygen, so we're going to hold for that one. Let's go. This thing's basically done. There's just a little, little cutting to do. Processor thingies. That's a heavy boy right there. Process 
Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Bum, 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 bum. You going to Belize for three weeks, Boba Fett? Salvage deposit secured. Wow. Credits awarded. That sounds pretty schnazzy. I hear often about Belize, but I don't know I don't know anything about that country. Deposit accepted for processing. I had a pro uh, a uh, professor in college that was from Belize too. He was cool. Oh, we're gonna make a lot of money today from all those computer consoles and stuff. Whoa. Is he gonna go collect a bounty in Belize? Yeah. What's the difference between green and blue portal? Uh, the blue one is for like recycling, like what you would do with aluminum cans or whatnot. The red one is like the furnace, it's either for like destruction, but I'm assuming for more smelting. And the green one, the barge below us, is kind of like for um, like repurposing or just like a little refurbishment. So the green stuff is basically still good, and they're gonna they're, they'll Salvage basically reinstall secured. it somewhere else. Credits awarded. Like you take a computer console from one ship and you can put it onto another. Maybe a little minor ma maintenance Salvage or something. Deposit registered. Account credited. Biohazard waste. Um, I guess the furnace is also for destruction too. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. It's like we threw a mattress in there earlier, and I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's not going to survive the fire. <laughs> Smelt it down into a new mattress. Like, oh, what do you do for work? I work down at the uh, the mattress uh, foundry. I don't know if that's going to work, brother. Thank you, chat, for 300 likes. That's very awesome, guys. Thank you for the support. Salvage deposit confirmed. That's Apply nice, y'all. Thank you very much for the uh, the support. Oh, yeah, look at how much money we've made just from computer consoles and stuff. You don't know about mattress melting? Oh, is that what you do for work? Salvage deposited. I'm a foreman Apply down at the, uh, <laughs> the mattress uh, foundry. What's up, Alloy? Hey, Alloy, how are things going on the... Um, on the V Rising server. I, I've noticed a lot of people on there. That's awesome. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit and don't forget, we got a giveaway uh, for V Rising as well on the Discord today. I, I finally got those keys, so... I did a key drop late last night. And now there'll be another one. Salvage secured. Applying credit. What is this thing? Well, I think the rest of this can just go into the furnace. There's some lights and stuff on here, but not worth our time. Not worth it. <laughs> unlimited your pro unlimited profit profits by recycling yourself, lol. You finally got a horse and dozen resources to build in the north? Ah, oh, good for you, dude. I got a horse as well in that game. It was cool to find. Well, if you're a member, don't forget, guys.
dying in the sun. That's a constant, though. Come on, Furnace. I know you got more pull than that. That should be everything except for some random floating trash. Did I get Sand Rock? Yeah, we've taken a look at Sand Rock before. We'll probably stream that in the next couple of days. It's on the schedule. In the description there. Well, come Raw on, Furnace. Now you have Price no pull whatsoever. Let's go. Ooh, that's going to be worth a lot of money. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Damn. And the only thing we, like, forfeited is some lights and some minor stuff. Whoa, whoa. hello. Object accepted for processing. There we go. Credits deposited. Is there sleeping on the job at the mattress factory? Maybe so. Warning. Oh, you lost your horse? Oh. I see. Yeah, V rising, you get attached to your horse. Nice! 2.7% destroyed. Airlock console, meh. Power cell, meh. Door. Mm. That's basically nothing. New certification level has been achieved. Have I played Prey before? Nope. But Prey and Soma and some of those other... Actually, uh, speaking of which, by the way, folks, don't forget you can get uh, Bioshock. I think it's the entire trilogy. I thought it was just the first game, but I think the entire Bioshock trilogy is free on the Epic Game Store as of yesterday. So if you haven't... Uh, if there's any of them that you're missing or if you don't have it on PC and like you played it on the old consoles, uh, it's available now at Epic Game Store. Use code Raptoria at checkout. They give me a little... Uh, little extra cash for giving them a shout out but it's the only place you can get it for free so it's like not like there, there's a choice to get it for free on steam not like there's a competitor can't be free though and a good game one of the creepiest games you ever played yeah man i played through the first one with friends i thought that was amazing we played the second one together and then the third one i played on my own and i was just like wow Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Morning, ma'am. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Okay. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Okay. Hmm. The roustabout. Oh, we ta made two uh, million dollars. Cutter, I want to tell you, I'm mighty impressed by you. Remind me of me when I started. All bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Had big dreams of hitting the rails back then. Bought myself one of them classic armadillo rigs. Named the old girl Beulah, after my mother. Told you about my bad revive a while back. Oh, yeah. Another case of me and technology not getting on, I guess. Bottom line is, this body just ain't fit for flying no more. So, I want to give Beulah to you, Cutter. What? She ain't in the best of shape, but she'll do good by you. Hell, even a few places around the village that'll fit her out for gate travel. If you're so inclined. Anyway, that's it. She'll do more for you than me now. I'm just happy she's gonna be with somebody that truly appreciates her. Well, we were out. Thank, thank you, brother. Amen. Come on, let's upgrade the helmet. O2 capacity, capacity two. Mm, I think I think I'm a pasta. Oxygen. Enricher add-on for easy breathing. Amen, brother. Capacity up. Wow, plus 100. Nice. Definitely worth it.
Range increase on the uh, thinger. Okay, and with a few more link tokens, we can get some upgrades for tether strength and amount. Oh no, that's just the regular, regular strength. That's fine. Uh, the code is Raptoria, R-A-P-T-O-R-I-A for the uh, Epic Game Store. Hey, Jeffrey, thanks for the two, dude. I hope you're well as well. Thank you very much, dude. The big O2. All right, well this ship's done, so let's move on to something else. Eleven million ten. Ooh, seventeen for the big O tanker. Damn, I kind of want to try that out. Uh, twelve. This one's fourteen. Now yeah, let's do the big boy. The javelin tanker. Oh, Levi, you got promoted and you put a down payment on a house? Nice. Good for you, dude. Amen, brother. Morning, crew. Let's hit them salvage goals. Yeah, um... Hey, Weaver. Do you know when this administrator gets here? Should be here any day now. But remember, no need to worry. Ah... Uh, Thanks. Kai, you good? Yeah. Yeah. Just nervous, you know. I just, I really can't lose this job. Whoa, slow down there. They always let go of the screw-ups first, right? We all screw up, Kai. Just work careful. Avoid any major accidents. And you'll be golden. Yeah. I just need to keep my head down. Something tells me he was talking to the Union. Morning. Fuel levels are low. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Yo, Jeffrey, thanks for dropping a bomb for Private Tomcat. Gifted membership from our good friend Jeffrey M. Thank you, dude. That's awesome. Let's put a little gift bomb in the chat for him. Oh, let's grab ourselves some fuel. There we go. And enjoy your new emotes there, uh, Private Tomcat. Enjoy. Applying credit. Wait, this whole thing can go on a march. That's got to be connected, though. Oh, I see. It's connected via a frame. We're going to have to slide that off the... Looks like there's some panels. Yeah, these are all, like, merchant ships at the moment. But military ships would be cool. Or 
we're slipping the fuel tanks off. Nice. cage thing must go in there. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. This thing's dangerous as hell. I remember when there was a large ship with a lot of seats. Um, I can remember quite a few of the beginner ships, but I never got too far because I also didn't want to... Like, the game kind of was missing a lot of stuff that made me want to go further because I didn't want to do it again when the full release was here. And now it's here. And now I, I couldn't be happier that it's here. That ship's probably still in. Jeffrey with another big old bomb. Thank you, dude. Don't forget, guys, to claim those memberships. Turn that membership gifting button to allow so you can be gifted one of those memberships. Hard fuel tanks, explosives. Yeah, if I, if I shoot one of these fuel tanks with this cutter, we're dead. But luckily, I haven't made a mistake yet. Yet. I guess I have to take this whole protective cage off. Do you age in this game? I don't think so. Are these all three together? Oh, they're not like... I thought these were like touching, okay. Never mind. They're actually one, one big piece. I don't know how the hell that's gonna work. We'll figure that out later. Lots to do. This is the cab here. Okay. Then on the inside. Yep. All right, so we're gonna have to go inside. That's pressurized, so we're gonna have to be careful about going in there. Okay. 
oxygen reserves are low. Well, there's two sections to that ship. Can lead to missed salvage goals. We got a front section and a back section for fuel. Or for uh, compartments with the fuel in the middle. Welcome to Vendetron Hot Oxygen level stabilizing. There's an airlock. Airlock pressurizing. See. Who posters? Free stuff. We found more data. The section's now unpressurized. Ah, oh, I see. You bought this game now? I don't know, a lot of people could say they got games. There's a game pass. This one's on there. Or they got them from the from the channel. They saw it first on the channel. That's cool too. And that should let the uh, section break away. Oh well, that was easy. Nice. It's time to scrap and dismantle some spaceships. Yeah, amen, brother. Certainly is. Oh, there's more connection there. Well, that's for the big outer section. We'll do that later. I think we should rip out all the internal stuff this time. on all the inside stuff. Yep, full controller support, yep. Hey, man. So those are still connected? Okay.
all should be barred, right? Goodbye. panel on the outside. I was worth a lot of money, that console. Damn it. The airlock console is worth a hell of a lot of money. You'll have to remember to get those. They're not just like a typical little switch. They're, they're a little more advanced. Not a big deal, though, if we get all the other things. But now we know... Shift breaker. Your oh, nice. We got that new uh, poster. Administer two caffeine pods before starting your shift. Are we playing it with the mouse and keyboard? We certainly are. What was that? A new email? Please tell me I heard right, Rook. Weaver gave you his old armadillo? Oh, man! That's so lucky. I used to help my old man fix up beaters like that. I hear weavers might not be in the best oh, shape. Oh, cool. Listen, I've got something that'll help get it ready to ride the rails. I'm transferring diagnostic programs to your terminal. Go ahead and boot it up. So we can actually... This is a ship that we were given. So now eventually we can upgrade this ship. That's cool. We need, a, we need a circuit and wires. We can take stuff from other ships and do that. That's cool. Are there different ships or something for me? Oh yeah, there's lots of ships in this game. A lot. We're working on a refueling ship now, but there's like small... Everything from small shuttles to like big old passenger ships and such. This. Oh, it's for a cargo hauler. Notes on pressurization, fire reactors, electricity. Wait, didn't I read all these? Oh, there we go. Probably something on the union again, yep. And some information about other stuff going on. Damn. I gotta get those airlock consoles. Those are worth a lot of money in XP. I think if you don't fully repair your equipment at a certain point, it actually starts, like, malfunctioning. You don't want that to happen. Oh, now we have stuff on the right side. Ship doctor needed for next level circuit and wires. Detected on ship dampener, heat sink, rod, and wires. That's cool, so we can collect wires now. Brother, amen, Does the game have an unlimited mode? Yep, there is. You can actually play the campaign that way, too. I'm playing, like, the standard mode with shifts and such, but there is a quote-unquote casual mode where you can play the campaign with no time and no oxygen limits, which is cool. There's also a uh, free play mode, too, after you start the campaign. You can pretty much do any ship. I think you have to... You might have to unlock the ship first, but that's still pretty cool. Alright, so we ripped out the airlock. I know the ladder has to go on the barge now. We'll have to remember those airlock consoles are worth a lot of money. It's essentially a pretty advanced computer, I guess. Salvage accepted. Credit applied.
Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Yeah, you can play this game with more relaxing setting if you want to. Oh boy. Ooh, the airlock has air in it still. Oh, it should be okay. The air will come out, not in. Airlock depressurizing. Okay, we're good. Oh, it showed up green. mode yep yeah there's like a well hard mode would be like permadeath mode but there's also a limited life's mode there's one where you can only respawn 30 times which 30 seems like a lot I guess for the most part if you're if you're being careful it'll only take you a little longer to do a ship transferring credits Detach this. Oh, I think we gotta go outside. The exterior hall. There's two airlocks in this section. Yeah, no, this multiplayer would be amazing. It would be really cool to work with somebody. Well, I think it'd be it'd be a lot more complicated than easy because you'd have to all talk about like uh, what order you're gonna do things. Oh, was that? Uh, oh, that was a crew compartment. Section got detached and then floated away. I thought that was just a panel. Ooh. We'll have to double check then next time. No, that's true. Yeah, one person could do all the cutting, the other person could just sort things out, put extra stuff on the barge. If you don't, you know, like, clear out the panels, and then it can clear the way to uh, processing. Deposit accepted for processing. That's better. Well, this ship has another cockpit on it, so that's going to be worth a lot of money. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Warning. 
fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Though it looks Office like, for the most part, interior sections go to the furnace, exterior sections always go to the processing, usually. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Now let's go get some O2 and fuel in a minute. Just ready for processing? What's up, Chica? Well, things are, yeah, things are going real well. We're having fun unlocking some upgrades. I guess our goal now will try to be to get to that level one unlock. It shouldn't be too hard. I wonder if I can pull this whole section out without touching the edge. I think I can cut the floor out, can I? Ooh, it looks like I can. Oh no. Alright, we'll just have to get all this stuff out of here. This will make us a lot of money though, these consoles and things. Oh, there's a part we need from that. Looks like you got a part for the armadillo. See if there's any more lying around in there. Oh. So that costs us money for doing that, but it's we can con get that other ship. Warning. Low oxygen reserves. So now this thing is just scrap because we salvaged it. We have the choice. It's kind of like papers, please. Then you you have the option to like kind of you know the business tells you what you can and can't do, but you can kind of like do some things not to regulations. It'll cost you some money, but that's okay. All right, let's get to level one. Also, like a cleaner, too. Sir, if you're fixing to dot the I's and cross the T's, you got about five minutes to do it. Leave her out. Yeah, if you take sh uh, parts for the ship, yeah, then the thing loses value, but that that's okay. Kind of funny that we, like, just took wires. It's fine, though. Actually, you know what? This is all going to the furnace, so I don't need to pull that out. I can just leave that in here when we throw this whole thing in the furnace.
Oh, what? Oh yeah, you have to click allow when you, uh, if somebody drops a big O member bomb in the chat, that's exactly what you have to do, is uh, hit the allow button. What happens when you do a hole into a pressurized ship? Uh, basically explodes. All the air trying to escape through a small hole is like, uh... Basically, a bomb goes off. need for cutting then yeah yeah the the uh, implosion will or the explosion will do everything for you This music reminds me of Hunt Showdown's music. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. You just started playing this game a few days ago? Dude, it's a good game. This game is a... Like, if you don't have Game Pass for PC... Salvage secured. This game costs you a dollar. Alright, Cutter. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. 99 cents, basically, to play this game. Well, you know, like a dollar and some tax, but awesome. Yeah, it feels like a Firefly game, yeah. Can any of this stuff be used? Right, this all can be moved to the furnace, I think. Including the table. Not. Okay. I thought it was just this one square. It's actually a huge rectangle, so this will have to go last, but. It's fine. Day done, and we got to level one. Not bad. 1.7 million. Aw, there was a poster in there. Aw. I must have never went in there. Otherwise, I would have seen that. Oh well. There'll be many more. Well, yeah, there's a full version of this game too that uh, has the uh, Good morning, ship like a breaker. vinyl. Links would like to share the following message. Ooh, sticker unlocked. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit processor and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Wow. Yeah, you can get the soundtrack on vinyl. What is that? Key to... Oh, to the... To the ship. Yeah, we're still level 8. What do we have for points, though? 37? Give me strength. 
Oh, we're too off from that one. All right. All right, let's see if we can get to level two. Doubtful, though. A lot of stuff in that barge that we probably won't get to the next level. Okay, we just need to find a circuit in the communication array. That's going to cost us some money. take off this front part. That's a big boy right there. Because I cut a cord. What? What? Uh. Is that a Caution. thing? Oh, I need tethers. No tethers. Please refill supplies. Must be a little different than the regular material, then. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. They're going to be breaking it down in the processor and be uh, salvaged, so... That shouldn't matter. Good, we got money back. We Gucci fam. Oh, so these big ass sections are like a component. You have to go to the barge. Well, that makes sense. You can go too. Yep. The whole thing can go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Alright, this ship is cool. This is way more complicated than any of the other ones. That's awesome. Game is picking up its Salvage game. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. That is cool. I thought that was just nanocarbon. That's cool that there's going to be some components on the exterior to worry about. 
that are different. Mixes things up. I like it. Okay. satisfying that is very cool and another cool thing is once you do it you know how it's done Processing valuable deposit. although it's, we haven't like done the same ship twice yet or maybe we have but they've been more complicated each time that I don't even remember care about the lights there. Very satisfying. these lights but not the not these lights come on how many spares have we gone through Applying credit to account. uh none none so far this stream well I mean there's still time the night is young right Okay, let's uh, cut these out. Oh, we're gonna make a lot of money on that fuel section. Dude, this is cool. This ship has really made me realize that it's not gonna be the same. Uh, you know, it's not like exterior is gonna be nano, interior is gonna be furnace, and. All the components are going to be barged. They've changed it up, and that's promising for what we're going to see next for new ships. That's cool. But I think the fuel tanks are going to have to go last. Looking good. that window from our hat? Data drive. 
Oh, it's taped to it. Corrupted data transmitted to Ham. Isn't there a window on this thing? It's got thrusters. I wonder if we take this to work every day. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to have a window on it. Alright. This is your five minute warrant cutter. Five minutes left. We were out. Airlocks unpowered. Interesting. But I didn't pull out the reactor yet. I wonder if each section is separated. Well, the interior hall. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Well, let's see how this works. It's going to get messy. Interference in here. I'm going to worry about the uh, thruster damage. Uh oh. All right, let's take off the interior first. Or the exterior. easier to get that reactor out of here too with the uh, plates around it gone.
Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Two more over there. Okay. Cool. Four point five million dollars. Damn. Fortunately, level five no longer obtainable due to the uh, cockpit incident, but uh, now we know. Yeah, brother, yeah. Oh, I'm getting a lot of emails for upcoming games on Steam, too, because Steam has this big event Hello, coming up. Breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. I don't have any keys from them yet, but Steam has this big event coming up called the Next Fest where basically everything becomes like a free demo. One's in the chat if you love yourself a demo. A free demo? Absolutely. Good stuff. Yeah, you can see how things uh, can sort based on what's below the reticle. So that's pretty cool, actually. So for the furnace, it'll show up red and say furnace. For the barge, it'll show up green and say barge. And for the uh, processor, it'll show up blue. What is this thing? Dash drive. This was taped outside. Hey Dad, I remembered something today. Way back when I was small, before you left the surface, you'd take me with you to the scrapyards. I hated it. All I ever did was watch you pick through the pile of stuff that went uh, that I thought was junk. If I couldn't have helped, I couldn't have helped even if I had tried. But you insisted on bringing me anyways. I think I get why now. Picking these ships apart here—it's lonely work. I wonder how mom's doing. Rent. I don't think that's uh is that someone else? No. Oh, there's seven of those. Oh, so there's different storylines. One on the solar system, one on Mars, and what about like the Lynx Corporation? Looks like things start malfunctioning after 75%. Let's keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Sam. Any of you guys ever play the uh, director's cut version of um, Death Stranding? I, I played the original. On PlayStation 4, and then I played it again when it came to PC, but not the director's cut that's come out since. It's pretty cool, though. That game is amazing for the, uh... It's basically a trucking simulator. Oh, there's still air in the airlock? You have played it? Oh, it's a, it's a great game. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. There's a battery pack attached to that. If I detach that. Oh, the console still works. I thought it might dis disable it. How do you get your ship running? Oh, you just got to steal components from other ships to rebuild it. But this is unpowered, so it's not going to
Okay. Oh, we gotta pull that reactor out, too. That reactor is gonna give us a crazy amount of money. What's up, Kaiser? Uh, is getting your own ship and ending up running the end game? Well, maybe this... I, I don't know, actually, but maybe it'll be like, um... How it is with, um... There's gonna be that much air in there, jeez. Maybe it'll be like how it is with Papers, Please. Maybe we'll get a couple of different choices on how the ending will play out. Maybe we can return to Earth. Maybe we can go to Mars. Maybe we can go to Arizona. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Hawkwain, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate the support. Lol. One billion debt to Elon Musk descendant and Disney cause he bought it. I would pay that cause I hear he has many lawyers. I'm sure. Thank you, dude, for the five. out a reactor. You guys ready for the reactor poll? That's going to be fun. money today. Reactors, most of it. Well, that's a bit... That's about it for cutting them joints. Yet. 
There it goes. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Okay, let's get that piece in the processor. Okay, that should be it for cleanup. Now we just gotta take this apart. Accepted for processing. Deposited. We can't cut through this, can we? Can I cut this? these out through the top and pull it oh no I have to pull all these at once though I think we're gonna have to pull it out, aren't we? The uh, the tanks, we're gonna have to pull them out and then slide them forward. Kind of like when you take out batteries out of stuff. Oh, this is kind of in the way. The whole thing goes in the processor. Herbal space program? We'll play that. Material deposited. Transferring credit. We'll play Got Kerbal. About five minutes left in this ship, Cutter. Don't buy it off more than you can chew. Oh, this is like one we big, drop. big ass fuel tank, man. Maybe I should take it out the. Well, no, that's not going to matter because I still got to get it around the sides. Oh, wait, couldn't, couldn't I pull the cage back?
Yeah, that's all cut level two. No, I can't, I can't cut through this uh, cage here. Otherwise, everything else can go into the furnace. Once the tanks are removed, everything else is furnace. We can cut the inner cage, but not the outer cage. The outer cage is uh, a level above, unless... Wait, can I just slide this off? Is the is the cage bigger than the hull? Shit's almost done in the middle cutter. One minute left. If this cage is bigger than this thing here, we should be able to pull it out of here. cut the ends of the inner cage, but the inner cage can't... I don't think you can disconnect it from here, can you? I, I think the fuel... are the fuel tanks not attached to the interior? Well, I guess not, because they've been moving around. Alright, that'll work then. I see, okay. So then tomorrow we'll just split things up and we'll be alright. Ooh, four million dollars, alright. That'll bring us up to level four. So we're just removing the uh, the four pieces to the inner inner cage then. Okay. Hello ship breaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Some people dream of great salvage while other people get up every morning and make it happen. All right, let's do some repairs. Nope, we're good. 77 tokens, what was I gonna buy? Strength. We'll save the rest. Okay. So there's just... Yeah, there's just four contact points on the inner cage. I was thinking it was going to be some sort of puzzle where we'd have to, like, pull it out in between the two cages, but... Oh, this should be our last day with this ship. Peace, man.
You know what's interesting is that it seems like each of the different manufacturers also kind of like, uh... ...have much different ways in which they've built their ships. something. Oh, it's just the inner braces. Alright, then we'll just cut the remainder. Separated now. Hmm. Well, in the interest of our sanity, Fuel tank's bigger than the cage around it. Let's see if we can slide that cage off. I guess the notches in the uh, tank are kind of pulling it along too much. That's right. Let's just salvage the tank. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Ooh, big money. Fuel clamp. Wow. Okay, this all can't just be furnace, can it? I feel like it'd be too easy to put all this stuff in the furnace. There's gotta be something else. Obviously the lights are supposed to go on the barge, but I am not gonna spend <laughs> I'm not spending all that time removing lights, no way.
All right, a little rough on that one with the uh, one cockpit, but other than that, that was good. I wanted to get that poster that was in there, too. But the nice thing about this game is I think you could do the ships again with different... Uh, like, slightly different values with different components inside. But we got our level four. Come on, Furnace, you're supposed to be powerful. Sliding it into the, uh, whatever. <laughs> I was trying to push it into the one on the right. That whole time, the furnace couldn't pull that in? Alright, end of our day. You never figured out where the doors were? Uh, well, if you, if you keep the doors closed... Like, you know when you can go up to a, a thing and, like, you, you turn it to open the door? You can stop the door from opening by not... Like, you can... If you depressurize it, close the door, and then remove the door with the, uh... Uh, with the mover tool. Like, you can rip it out of there. But once the door goes behind the... Like, if the door slides into the walls, it's like... I don't think you can interact with it. You have to close the door again. But the door has to be powered, too, so you can't, like, power something that's weird it's kind of weird how power works in this game too because like you can lose Hello, power breaker please enjoy this inspirational message the last 10 percent of a job takes as much energy as the first 90 percent that's true which is why it's so important to always give 110 percent wow but yeah the way the power works is that like if you disconnect the uh you know, if, if the reactor's in the back, like on the last ship, and you disconnect the front, then it loses power, too. So it's like a good idea to go inside the ship first. Alright, well, it's fresh start, boys. That's good. The dock is in, and it's time for some ship blasting. Damn, that music, though. Wait, we got a new poster, didn't we? We're close to level 9. This ship's all done. Oh, that one has more fuel tanks, that's why. This one actually offers more of the uh, LTs, but for far less money. This one's double the value. Uh, yeah, break fire. We 
We've already done one of those ships before. We haven't done this one before, though. But cargo hauler, patrol aircraft. Ooh, 30. Ooh. Oh, that's. Never mind. Station hopper, heavy cargo, anchor. Let's do the. Uh, we haven't done a, a scout patrol before. Let's do that one. That's a new one. I haven't seen a patrol ship before. Alright, a fresh start. Woo! Oh, this looks cool. Start on the outside. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. We need this one for the uh, circuit board. Yeah, there's a little bit more than just getting money in the game, because now that we have that ship that we can fix up, it seems like one of the other endings we can do. Like, maybe one of the endings is getting a lot of information about what's going on, like, collecting data in order to, like, maybe join the Union or make the Union more powerful. One might just be paying back the debt, and one might be, like, escaping with the ship or something. There might be many ways to do this. What the hell? They fired the, uh, the ring thing. That probably goes in the furnace now that we've stolen that circuit bow. Uh -oh. Yeah, you can play with like w one life, you can play with unlimited lives. I guess the unlimited lives good for a first playthrough. Should do it for the exterior. Morning. Fuel levels are low. Applying credits to account. 
Yeah, the music's good. It could use more music, though. It's that good. Boys, wish me luck. Here it goes. Cluster unstable. Fire hazard risk high. Go. There you are. All right, let's make sure he gets there. Now right, let's get some thruster fuel before we go in there. No smoking. Yeah, right. Yeah. Good joke, pal. No smoking. You gotta be joking me. <laughs> Robin Hood, thanks for subbing. Thanks to everybody uh, subscribing today. Welcome to the channel. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Alright, is this disconnected? Oh, there's the fuel system there. All right, let's take all this out. Fuel canisters can go in the barge too, right? Yeah. We can just slide this whole thing out. Oh, 
Goodbye. Salvage secured. Applying credit. That was big money, boys. Big, big money. Save big money at my nose. That's five minutes left on the clock, Cutter. Five minutes remaining. All right, that's just nano carbon on the outside. So let's go inside. Can you land on planets? Uh, I don't think so. Is that not in there? Yeah, that's in there. Separate the fuel first. I, I think we get credit for the whole thing. Cool. Well, that poster looks cool. This thing's loaded with posters. Air pressure level decreasing. Hmm. I got credit for the whole thing? Okay. Uh, we need to do depressurization now. Where's the air thingy in this one? Oh, there it is. Air pressure level decreasing. So There's a safety thing. The ship, if it loses oxygen in one section, the door closes, so I can't turn them off separately. But this does mean we can blow out the back of the ship now. Components out of here easier. Deposit accepted for process. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Looking like you got about a minute left, Cutter. One minute remaining. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Salvage 
Almost uh, halfway to level two. Seventy percent remaining. The only thing we lost is that communications array we destroyed on purpose to get the uh, circuit board out of there. Not bad. Ooh, and fifteen LT. God, it's good. Good game, man. Really fun. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake-up call. Hi. This one's cool. This reminds me of uh, High Fleet, which is an amazing game. Kitty. 3.6 million. New stickers for the guns unlocked. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. So that's all we get for posters, huh? Well, let's check the computer. Hey there, I'm Shippy. I'm here to help you get this ship healthy again. God, this music is badass, dude. How come we can't listen to this on the job? My prognosis is your ship will be awesome in no time. Shippy is the best. So this must be an alternative way to escape our debt. This must be what it is. This, when we fill up that purple bar all the way, we'll be able to escape through the gate. Maybe we'll be able to disguise ourselves as like a corporate ship and actually escape through the jump gate. We just need to make sure we find all these parts. So next we need a fuse. But you don't want to take everything at, at, at a time. Oh, this is so damn cool. That's really good. Does anyone know when the new Obi-Wan show comes out? I, I think it's out as of last night, I thought. Isn't it? Didn't that come out, like, in the last 24 hours, I thought? But I think this game has multiple endings, and I think it plays out like how it does with, uh... Yeah, I think it plays out either by paying off your debt, which I think is impossible. I think if you pay it off, they, they're like, uh, yeah, uh, you actually owe us more money. Oops, we, we goofed. And then something to do with data recovery has got to be with the, uh, something to do with the union getting this company shut down or something. I don't know. All right, one, one more day. This time we're a lot less sloppy. That last time I was like, oof. 
But I guess the bigger the ship, the more complicated the th things. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yep, Stranger Things is out now too, yep. And this... Can I rip the doors off this now? Oh, how are you supposed to get the door out of there then? Airlock depressurizing. Well, I guess this panel would go to the processor, so that makes sense. All right now, if we can take out the floors, we can... Oh, no, we got the whole back end out, so we'll just take it out that way. All right, another day of uh, uh, barge day. What do we need? A fuse? Wait, is there a... Found in power junction breakers. Okay. I want to go for the ship escape one. That seems cool. Wasn't there a power junction box in this ship? Seems like a good idea to take something from every thing, but I, I don't think we'll do it until we know we're looking for it. Oh, here it is. Power junction box. Alright, so now we took a fuse. Is there a song about a guy who, like... I think there was a song about a guy who wanted to own, like, a Chrysler or a Plymouth or something like that, and he stole, like, a part every day from the factory and then assembled it at home or something like that. There's Salvage deposit secured. There's some song about, about that, some guy stealing parts. Was that a Johnny Cash song? One part at a time, yeah. It makes sense for, like, some of the parts, but at a certain point, when you're hauling an engine block or a windshield out of the factory, how are you going to do that? And I kind of need that, don't I? Uh, oops. Well, no reinstalling that now. Oh, this ship's a hell of a lot easier. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Those just disappear.
Perhaps we've been watching your content for a while for the game. Have you figured out how to get the door out of the wall without losing money? Um, oops. I mean, you, you can keep doors clo uh, closed and then pull them out. Once you open a door, it kind of slides behind the... Uh, slides behind the wall and you can't get it, but... I mean, doors aren't worth that much money. Like, sometimes you can just take take a loss just because, you know, like you value your time. Because if you think about it, too, every... At the beginning of the game, every day that you're done with the shift, you're going to owe a quarter of a... No, you're going to owe half a million dollars. So, if you want to spend that time getting, you know, like, more high-value items for that time... Transferring credit. Or do you just want to worry about the uh, three thousand uh, dollar component, like all the lights and stuff here? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. We're getting these boys out of here. Yeah, sometimes there's guarantees you can account for, like if if you knew that you had to trade, if you could trade a hundred dollars for a thousand dollars, you'd have to do it. Like in real life, if someone was like, "Hey, if you put a thousand dollars into this magical box, a th ten thousand dollars would come out." I gotta say, these are, those parts are probably the most annoying part of the game. It'll get in there, though. It'll go eventually. Sounds like crypto. Well, I said... I did say guarantees, like, this game will give you money for doing stuff like that. Gunner, the gear's getting low. It's gonna start fighting you if you don't head back to the hab and make some repairs. Secured. Credits deposited. Okay, a couple more things to do with the chairs. Transferring credit. Man, this part's gonna get us almost to level two. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. for those oxygen regulators too. Alright, Cutter. 
You got five minutes left in this ship before they turn the lights out on you. Better pass. There's our reactor. Taking the roof off now. Yo, Fat Zero dropping a five bomb in the chat. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah. Five new members in the chat. Congratulations. To all you winners in the chat, let's get some gift bomb emotes in the chat. And don't forget to thank Fat Zero if you. Got yourself a membership today. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much for all the gifted memberships. That's amazing. Amazing, brother. Now, don't forget to turn on the allow, too, if you're looking to get one of those memberships. And put a one in the chat to see if you've uh, gotten one. Name should be highlighted in green, and you'll have a little green eye next to your name. I'm still your favorite streamer? Awesome, dude. Well, thanks again, Fat Zero, for the support. Applying credit to account. That means a lot. Thank you. Amen, brother, brother. Salvage secure. Look sharp, cutter. One minute left on the clock. All right, I guess we'll try to go in through the window now. Damn back, boys. Gonna get icy. Here we go. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. Well, I don't think that should have went up that high. Okay, apparently... <laughs> what? Apparently the canopy somehow went to where it needed to go. First try, yeah. All right, let's call it a day. Oh, 
Oh, now it says the canopy didn't get accepted. Now it says that. <laughs> canopy destroyed? No kidding. Well, it was kind of weird. It, like, it kind of like floated away softly like, oh. And I was like, nah, I'm just going to go 10,000 billion light speeds. Okay. Well, at least part of it went to where it had to go. Denmark. All right, 2.2 million, not bad. Hey, but even better. Rank nine. Upgraded. Hell yeah. That's good. Feel feel good moment of the summer. Okay, this is weird. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Oh yeah. Hello? Hey, newbie. Hey. I'm level nine. Just having a couple cold ones. And I'm a novice. I'd ask you something. You ever heard of karaoke? Karaoke? No. It's singing without words. Well, the original words. Anyway, it's a big thing back home. My daughter wants to be a singer one day. She's good, too. Believe it or not, I can belt out a tune. Hey, you think Lou can rig something up so as we can do karaoke over Kongs? What? Clever ideas, that kid. Uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna get some shut-eye. Gotta do it all over again tomorrow. Am I right? Good night, kiddo. Bro, she's into me. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Morning. Ugh. No positive message? Wow. All right, then. Listen up, folks. Let me introduce you to Hal Rose. Oh, no. Hey. No need for introductions, Weaver. I know who you all are. Let's just get right into it. I know you don't love a middle manager like me coming in, making life hard. Yeah, I get it. See, I'm from people like you. Used to work the Lynx yards around Ceres. Eh, uh, not ship breaking, of course. Processing. Which, honestly, is just as tough. Real back breaking work. Yep, we know processing can be just Look, as tough. this is real simple. I hit my goals, and I'm out of your hair. But we all gotta pull the rope in the same direction. Get it? Cooperation. Cooperation. You scratch my back, and we'll all be done here in no time. Capisci? Okay, then. <clears throat> I'm taking the day to settle in, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bright and early. Okay? Okay, then. Um... This guy thinks he knows what back-breaking work is. I'm telling ya. One week. Tops. Guy's gonna cooperate with the business end of my grapple. <laughs> okay, now. Remember, be on your best behavior. See y'all in the yard. Gomer pile, yeah. Ooh, a new class. The Javelin Heavy Cargo Small Size. 2.2 million. Ooh, Hi, put that fuse don't in. Worry. That just should be for you to fix your ship right up. Ah, I'm detecting symptoms of acute awesomeness. Utility arms, we gotta find a piston now. Vitals are improving. Keep it up. So this will change what types of ships we take. Is like we could go for the big money ones, but some of, some of them only probably have utility arms that are cargo related. So that's probably going to be something we consider in the future. Damn those eight bits, eight bits just hitting on all cylinders. All right, let's go get some upgrades and repairs. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oxygen recharge increase. Nah. Greater range on the grapple. Other lifetime. Let's go up to 40 tethers. Break plus two. Dual capacity plus two. Let's do one. And we're kind of out of LTs. Yeah, we made our repairs. We're good. All right, now we're going to try to get to level three. Might be possible if we do a reactor poll today. Morning, folks. Starting the shift clock now. Another day, another dent in the dead. <laughs> Anyone want to race me? You don't quit racing. You're going to get yourself killed for real someday. Uh, this is Hal. Just wondering, how much time is spent chatting on average in a day here? It's just the crew checking in with one another from time to time. No harm in that. Well, as you know, the Lynx employee handbook says that avoiding chatter makes profits fatter. Uh, talking to each other is good for productivity, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll look at the performance reports later and see, I guess. People are people. Doesn't mean we don't take our work seriously, Rhodes. Steiner, right? No need to talk back. Hey now, it's all good, right? Let's everybody just get back to work. Fine. I'm out of here. Good, good. You should all focus on your work. Alright, let's stay focused. Cool how they balance, like, you know, profits with your leveling, too, because the, the money thing isn't really... Like, we realize at this point we're never going to make enough money to pay the company back, so we got to... We got to GTFO and come up with an escape plan. All right, let's do a reactor pull. Locked a sticker because of that, too. What? Oh, my God. Actually, it wasn't worth that much, surprisingly. Okay. The chair is probably worth more. Yeah, true. As we level up, we make, we get better ships. And it'll make all the stealing we want to do a little better. So we're gonna, we're gonna play it cool for a while. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Yeah, I should pull off the other side of the ship. This should be broken free, right? Now we got it.
Oh yeah, the the gecko. They mentioned that. Yeah, one of the bigger ships. Is this thing still trying to go into the damn furnace two days in? Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. thing tried to kill me tried to pull me into the processor damn near died to death Ooh, that was close all right there we go have I tried offering a sacrifice to the furnace to appease it oh yeah Ooh, that was fast Wow, we're almost level, uh... Jeez, we're gonna be level 5 almost today. Oh no, a light. Oh, what are we gonna do? Not level 5, but level 4. Yeah, the, my favorite thing is removing all these components from inside. I love it. What if you want to keep some things for yourself? You can do that. At a certain point, they give you access to a, your own ship that you can build yourself and then tell you what parts are needed for it. But stealing will cut into your XP, which means you won't like progress as fast, which means you'll get... You might not ever get to see those bigger ships that have some of those more advanced parts. By the way, guys, did you know you could get a bunch of free games? I, I mentioned it earlier, but... Uh, the whole Bioshock series, apparently, uh, 1 through 3, are available on the Epic Game Store. If you want to download that, that's a thing today. Or, well, starting yesterday, but... Yeah, you can get uh, all the Bioshock for free on the Epic Game Store. Just use code Raptori at checkout to let them know that I gave them a shout-out or whatever. They basically pay me to give them a shout-out, but... It doesn't cost you anything, so... To get the game ordered, to type in Raptoria, so... If you'd like to... Go get that game. Dude, that's a fantastic game series. That is a really good game. Or actually, all three of them. It's a very good, like, franchise. Also, we have a giveaway on the Discord, too. So if you haven't joined the Discord, we're giving away V Rising today. And for those of you who are members, we also have our members-only server for the... Um, for the uh, V Rising game as well. So if you're a member, extra perks for that. Enjoy. Enjoy. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Warning. Low oxygen reserves. Yeah, eventually we might need to find a we might need to find a reactor soon. Who knows? Hey, what's up, Misfit? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome. Hello to you. Nice to see you. All right, so everything's good here. I'm not gonna get the lights. That's just too much. Too much hassle.
Did you do something bad? Your last few posts have triggered an error try again message? Um, well, I mean, I see in the chat. So your messages are getting through. Five minutes left. You know what to do. We were out. I see you in the chat, so you're good. All right, let's get these pieces out of here. Those are connected how? Oh, up top. Got it. Oh, but we got to get in between the airlock. Which means we should go up here. Man, they need to expand upon this game with this, where it's like... Where you can make your own ship and stuff by, like, doing a salvage job like this. Th this concept, I'd love to see other game makers do exactly this. Where you can get other ships, take them apart, then use those parts to upgrade or build a, a like a better ship. <clears throat> or to refurbish something. That's such a cool concept, dude. This game just, like has potential to be even more. But, if you don't set a goal, you know, to stop making your game, eventually it'll never release. That's kind of how it goes, things. All right, that should be that, then. Quite the sight when you see a massive piece being pulled off. That's amazing. Look at that. That's so cool. little power cells. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oh, wait a minute. Cancel that for a second. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded.
Perfect, that'll go right in at the start of the next shift. Ooh, and we're almost level five. Beautiful. Almost five million. Not bad. That was a good day. That was a good day. Good day, brother. Good morning, ship breaker. Wow, she's not even like, she's mad at me. She's not even like saying like, good morning, you're beautiful. She's just like, Oh, let's uh, check the other computer real quick. Welcome to the ship, Doctor. Let's fix that ship up. We needed a piston for that one. Ooh, Railgate Project. Oh, this tells us more lore. I want to hear those as audio messages while I work. Oh, there's our ship now. Sweet. So that's what it looks like. That's the, sh the ship we're building then, so we need to get all those parts to repair it. Well, I'm glad that they... Like, they set a limit for this game, because if they made, like, a fully interactive hab, and, you know, the more and more you start piling on, you'll, you'll never finish your game, and, you know, it's like... Put all your... They put all the gameplay efforts into the actual fun part of like flying around and you know like investigating a ship and then getting inside of it and cutting it apart and removing all the stuff. Re it's really it's one of those this game is like more satisfying than it is like fun. Like there's something more deep to it. You know like when you play um you know unpacking or like satisfactory too like when you build a really nicely organized um you know conveyor conveyor belt stuff. Kind of nice that way. I think there's fuel inside the ship for the thrusters. I love how it picks you up right where you left off. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Power, yeah, power wash simulators like that. Exactly. Those aren't even like games. They're like, they're like something else, man. Because you, you know, whenever I played those games, whenever I played Power Wash Simulator, I, I was like one of the first people on YouTube that I saw to actually play it, and everyone was like, "This is so dumb. Why, why would anyone play it?" Then you, then you look at all the Steam reviews, and it's like 300 billion overwhelmingly positive reviews. And people are like, this this game changed my DNA, or like the Steam reviews, and it's like, well, I thought that was, I thought it was a pretty cool game, and I enjoyed it, but like, I'm usually middle of the ground, like everything's usually like, oh, that was cool, oh, that was cool, oh, that was cool. But a lot of like Steam reviews are like, um, you know, pretty analytical and pretty detailed oftentimes. But then when a game is so good, people don't really give it a review, they just say like, game good, you buy. Like, they don't give much of an explanation other than, no, it's just, you just get it. Like, ATS and Euro Truck are like that. You could write a 700-page book report on why Euro Truck and ATS or Flight Simulator are really fun. But, I don't know. There's certain, there's certain things where you can't really explain it to another human being why it's good. You just have to say, get by. You know, like, you, you just have to, like, use visceral, uh super simple language just game good you buy Processing valuable object. did you pick Credit that up please awarded. oh it's broken foundry is a new game it's like satisfactory but not on steam yet oh can someone send me a message on the discord about that can someone remind me? I'd like to see that. Alright, this is pretty much all furnace now.
Did that section go in? Okay, yep, everything went in. So aside from some lights, that's it. filter this is an air fill this whole thing's an air filter no way how the hell am I supposed to get these out of here yeah someone sent me a DM so I can remember to reach out to that developer these things. I think everything else can go into the furnace. Eh, let's uh, let's value our time and just toss her in. Now imagine where this game where it started and where it is now, there's a lot of polish and it's a hell of a lot more fun. Imagine a year from now after all the funding they get from people liking this game and buying it, and then the development team putting more money into uh, into the game to make it more fun a year from now, announce multiplayer. That'd be kind of cool. Am I addicted to gaming? Um, it's certainly a thing I really like and enjoy to do. I'd say so. Good times. You got a job interview in an hour? Oh, good luck, Nicole. Good luck to you. Sue. Uh, we'll lose a little money from lights and some random thing I missed, I'm sure. Don't worry, yeah. Not a big deal. Hitting level 5, that's the big deal. 
And we already did. Amen, brother, brother, yeah. Nice. What was that? Oh, random aluminum and stuff? There's some random parts we can find. That looks like an air filter. Part of the canopy. Material accepted. Warning. Oxygen reserves low. Links recommend. Regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. And we're done. Yeah. Cool. No, not not really anything at all. Nineteen lights. One point six million. Very satisfying. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. Morning. Yeah, lights and doors and stuff at a certain point. Not really... Not really worth the extra effort sometimes. Capacity increase. Mm. I don't think any of these are really needed at the moment. We'll hold on to our points. I think the next upgrade probably, uh, Next upgrade's gonna cost like uh, probably a hundred. So we'll hold on to our, our points and such. We'll save until we get to a hundred. Alright, this ship's done. We're all done. Now we gotta. Wow, we're halfway to rank uh, 10 now. The salt. The salty crunch. That's like a che cheesy ranch. Is that a flavor? I could hear, I could imagine like Burger King trying to pull that crap. Come on in for our crunchy ranch sandwich. We call it our cranch sandwich. No. Oh, we're on the lookout for a piston though. That thing seems to have a utility arm on it right down here. Exolab research ship. That definitely seems like it could have what we need.
<laughs> the tugboat. All right, I'm interested in the tug. Or the Exolab Research. That thing will have filters, distributors, heat sinks, circuits, dampeners, fuses, and wires. Oh, it won't have a piston. But the cranch will. And it's also worth 20 million. Wow, that's a big ass ship. Well, we need that piston, so and I'm I, I like the whole ship thing that we're doing, so. Alright, we'll take the cranch. Load screen tips. Looks like this one's got uh, oh shipping crates on the side. Interesting. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Fuel in the middle. out their damn laser again. the cranch all right as a reminder folks don't forget about our discord giveaway today we got another city builder video coming up today on the channel too we got some good stuff coming up brother yeah Oh, the cockpit is over here? Interesting. So it looks like the interior is pressurized up to the engine. Thing.
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Nice. Yeah, also, if you're looking to win one of those uh, gifted memberships, again, don't forget to click the allow button. That way you can be gifted a membership by one of our awesome members. Actually, you don't have to be a member anymore to uh, gift memberships, so if you're just looking to win one or gift one... Cool new options, Pog. It's been about a year since I've been playing Going Medieval. Oh, I should go back to that one. I like that game. Since there's, um... It's always a good idea to go back to a game we haven't played in a year to see what's new. And if, even if there's not much new, it's always good to just go back to a good game after a while. Just to be like, oh yeah, this game's good. I think Going Medieval's good. I just want more to do in it. Like with, for example, with Banished... Banished is a good game, but, like, at a certain point, it's just kind of straight up just, like, survive. And then at a certain point, you know, without heavy mods, there's not much more to do in Banished other than once you get over that initial hump of getting your workforce established enough. Once your workforce gets to a certain... Damn it, I knew that console was going to be there. Anyway. Once you get to a certain point... It's not that it becomes easy, it's more that it's like the, the challenge is not as high. So hopefully Going Medieval has some other cool content in it. Good game though, it's like it does exactly what you want it to do. Where's the uh didn't I see the reactor in this ship? Could do a reactor pull. Now nah, let's start at the back end of the ship. go back and see a few things so don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because we got two streams a day plus a video and there's tons of new stuff coming out all the time so we're gonna we're gonna try to cover as much as we can as soon as we can and as always in the description there's a little schedule if you look for the schedule in the description you'll see what I'm what I'm working on next all the secrets Secrets. So these panels can be removed. Your oxygen reserves are low. Oh. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Let's go get some O2 and then we'll do a reactor pull. What the hell's going on with the sound? The 
the audio in this game's getting weird all of a sudden. What's going on? If there's no problem here in the menu, but then. Getting weird every once in a while. Yeah, the sound actually, when you go inside of a ship that's pressurized, uh, the sound is different. Hey, what's up, Evan? Welcome. Good to see you've been enjoying our chat and our community. Thanks again. A big thanks to the community for being just awesome. YouTube especially can be a crazy part of the internet, but uh, we got a nice place here. We're going to keep it nice. Salvage deposit accepted. What the hell's that? Oh, the thruster cap is not a barge item? Oh. Maybe it needs a reboot. Yeah, probably after this uh, after this shift. Yeah, your radio station could change by electrical damage. Kind of weird. Credit transfer. Salvage goal obtained. 
Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, this whole thing's like peeling an orange. Alright, we can't mess with the airlock. What part compartment is uh, pressurized? Valuable object process. Credits awarded. This ain't pressurized. Oh, the compartment underneath is though. Poster! Yeah, I got it last second. Hell yeah, brother. 4.5 million. And 15 LTs. Nice. Nice. Alright. A city builder I know you guys know and love will be on the channel in about an hour or so. Good morning, ship breaker. This is your daily wake up call. And then we got another uh, big O stream later today, so make sure you're ready for it. Over the Moon Brewery. Nice. 4.5 million. Nice. That was our most productive day yet. Or at least it felt the best. Nothing new there. 89 points. Let's put this one next to the kitchen. Oh. That other one is not a one I can interact with. Um, I will put it above the bed. That's good. Cool. Uh, do you have to buy the ships that you're salvaging and that's why your debt continues to increase? No, our debt in continues to increase because we owe interest on it. And so, like, one, you know, point, what is it, 1%? I don't know if we can actually lay in the bed and see. Let me see if there's a way to check it for the debt. Damn, I don't think there's a way to check debt breakdown unless we... Oh. Well, anyway, there's like a whole debt breakdown. If you look at all the numbers, you basically owe more because of interest and other things that you use, like oxygen and food and all that other stuff. I guess we can also see the, the gate from there, too. Yeah, there's our, there's our possible escape out of here. Maybe. Yeah, dying and interest, and the stuff that you use, like uh, oxygen, you gotta keep buying at the terminals and stuff. They charge you for that. Cool. Alright folks, that's about all the time I have here today to break down some ships with you, but I'll be back a little later today for some more spaceships on the channel with another free space game that you'll be interested in. But Shipbreaker is available for one buck on uh, Game Pass if you want to try out that. And also, you can get it on Steam. And it's amazing. Super immersive. Lots of fun. A uh, new video will come up in about an hour or so, so make sure you uh, check it out on the channel. It's going to be a game you know and love. Kingdoms and Castles AI update. All right, I'll see you guys a little bit later for more. Thanks for dropping in. You guys are the best. Thanks for being the number one community out there. Thanks again for all the big O super chats. Thanks for all the big O memberships. Don't forget to jump on the Discord for a giveaway in about 30 minutes for V Rising. See you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Just got to be on the Discord.